I'm Kay and I'm a late bloomer. What can you grow in 300 square feet in a front yard? Time to check in with the Late Bloomer Summer Garden. I planted about 20% of my yard in a California native meadow. I bought 50 plants from a local native plant nursery, half of which are spreading plants. Over time, they will compete and grow together and become a meadow, which creates habitat and food for wildlife. They're drought tolerant, so I save water. Amaranth reseeded from last year just exploded and we transplanted it all along the fence. Amaranth is an ancient grain. It's beautiful, it's drought tolerant, and almost all of the plant is edible. But I planted it because it matched my shutters. The local parrot population made it their personal mission to wreck my sunflowers. But fortunately, I had another crop coming inside the fence. Middle of June, our plum tree ripened and dumped its fruit. <laughs> the corn on the back 40 was waist high. Potatoes were blossoming. Everything was growing and producing. Zucchinis were massive. <laughs> Check this one out. <laughs> It's about a kilo. They can really get away from you if you don't uh, keep on top of it. These three green zebras, the one on the left is not ripe, the one in the middle is perfect, and this one is a little too ripe. I had lots of beautiful royal burgundy and blue lake beans, and melt in your mouth sweet strawberries. The cucumber vines were taking off, but the leaves were starting to wilt in the heat of the day. An hour ago, all of these leaves were draped down like this, like handkerchiefs. And we put up this shade cloth. It's actually window screen, but all of the leaves have perked up. It seems to be normal, but I thought this is going to weaken the plant and make the plants more susceptible to disease and pests. Organic pest management is a multi-pronged approach. <laughs> Not just one thing is going to do the trick. I bought predator snails to take a bite out of my brown snail and slug population. For the first time, I tried fly traps to fight aphid, white fly, leaf miner, and thrip. So you can see they loaded up pretty quickly. That doesn't mean you catch them all. This squiggly line is the larva of a leaf miner. I shook the corn tassels daily to encourage pollination of the silks. I discovered the back 40 corn, <laughs> that's 40 square feet, was teeming with life. And I was getting a little help from beneficial insects with pest control. I harvested all of my potatoes. There weren't as many potatoes as I expected, but they were delicious, and so was my German potato salad. In part two, downy mildew hits, and cucumbers go from this to this. But the corn is mighty fine, so come on back. If you're ready for your first food garden, but you don't know where to start, Go to LateBloomerShow.com and download my free ebook, 10 Steps to a Great First Garden, loaded with photos, links, resources, and everything I've learned in a year. 
<laughs> I'm Kay. I'm a late bloomer. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And not only is it a... Ch Whoa! What was that? Was that a parrot or... That was a parrot. Next year, I might not plant sunflowers.